So, AS Physics 9702, we have to prepare paper one, paper two, this is MCQ, this is theory, and in the lab, paper three, which is practical. So for theory, the first chapter is physical quantities. with units and with explanation of vectors. So we start with the physical quantity. Now, physical quantity is a quantity which can be measured and it has definitely unit to be measured. So physical quantity is a quantity which can be measured and it has unit to be measured. For example, length, force, time. But a quantity which can't be measured is called non physical quantity. It has no unit to measure. For example, we have done that inertia cannot be measured. So inertia is a non-physical quantity. It has no unit to measure, right? So non-physical quantity cannot be measured. It is only compared. No measurement, only the comparison bigger than, smaller than, larger than, taller than, right, more, less, but no measurement. Now, we have to study the physical quantities. So physical quantities are divided into group. Number one is the basic or base physical quantities. Sometimes they're also called fundamental physical quantities, but basic physical quantities. They are length, number two, mass of the substance, number three, the time, number four, the temperature, number five, amount of substance. Number six is the electric current. And the last number seven is luminous of light. Not the intensity. So these are seven basic physical quantities because they are not derived from any other physical quantities. They are considered the fundamental, the basic, the original. So these are only seven. This has no unit in the A level, luminous of light, but it is included as a name, right? No application. Now, nowadays the length is measured in meters, mass is measured in kilogram, time in second, temperature in Kelvin, 
के अमाउंट ऑफ द सब्सटेंस इन मोल इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इन एम्पेयर एंड द लोमिनस ऑफ लाइट इज मैयर इन कैंडेला एंड इट इज रिटन एज सीरी सो दीज आर सेवन बेसिक physical quantities and their units are called base units so these are seven base units now the second type of the physical quantity other than these seven they are called derived physical quantities and all derived are actually derived from these seven sometimes two sometimes three four five these basic physical quantities are used to derive the new one so a physical quantity which contains at least two or you can write more basic physical quantities so which is derived from at least two or three four five right at least two and that is called derived physical quantity for example the common one is force speed acceleration work pressure and many more so these seven are only basic and all other quantities physical quantities are known as derived physical quantities except angle theta so it is yet to be decided whether it's in the physical quantity basic or in derived so it is undecided physical quantity so there is no decision still the decision is pending whether it's a derived whether it's a basic okay so all physical quantities other than these seven except angle will be considered derived physical quantities and do remember derived physical quantities will have two units one is si unit and the second is base unit so derived physical quantity has two unit one is the si unit which is used to measure it in which it is measured like newton joule watt pascal and the base unit is actually the unit which informs about the ingredients of the derivation ingredient of the derived physical quantity mean how many and which physical which basic quantities are used to derive it so these are ingredients we know about the parts of this derived physical quantities I mean ingredients for example force its si unit is newton usually si unit is a name of a scientist majority of the si units are the names of the scientist but few are not this is the si unit now for the base unit we will write any simple formula for the force for suppose this is f is equal to ma now m is representing the mass per kilogram acceleration meter per second square 
So it can be written as kilogram meter second power minus two. So this is the base unit. And this is the SI unit. So SI unit in which it is mired and the base unit which informs about its ingredient mean it is derived from the mass, from the length and the from time, right? So force is derived. It has two units, SI and base. So there are few derived physical quantities force we have done suppose next is work or energy number three suppose power number four suppose pressure number five suppose voltage and number six, say resistance, and there are many more. So we start with these six. There are many, but we start with these six. We have done with the force, SI unit, Newton. And the base unit here, kilogram, meter, second power minus one. So what is the SI unit? This is Newton, this is Joule, power, watt, pressure, Pascal, voltage, volt, resistance, ohm. Now we have to calculate, we have to <coughs> derive their base physical quantity. We have done with the force, now come for the force, our energy. Work is equal to energy, same units. So the simplest formula for the work is F into D, force is MA into D. Simplify the formula as you can. So M for the mass kilogram, acceleration meter per second square, distance meter, and then kilogram meter into meter meter square, second power minus two. So this is the base unit of the work. So work SI unit joule, energy SI unit joule, and their base units kilogram meter square, second power minus two. Now look, what's the difference between force? It just kilogram meter power one, second power minus two. Here the difference meter square. Otherwise, same basic physical quantities are used. But here, meter square. Now the next is power, suppose. Power is work divided by time. Work is F into D divided by T. So work base units are already written here. Kilogram, meter square, second power minus two and time second, so finally it is kilogram, meter square, second power minus two, second power minus one, so it's kilogram, meter square, and second power minus three. Okay, so this is the unit of power. Which unit? The base units, similarly, now come to the pressure. Pressure formula is force divided by area. And it is measured in Pascal, which is the SI unit. Now the base unit, force base unit, we have derived kilogram, meter, second power minus two, area, meter square. So one meter canceled. So it becomes kilogram. This meter comes up, meter power minus one second power minus two. So this is the base unit of pressure. So we have done force, work, power, pressure. Now two more remaining. 
voltage and resistance. Now, voltage is measured in volt, which is SI unit, but the formula for the voltage work done per unit charge now the work is f into d and charge q is equal to it force unit we have done kilogram meter second power minus two distance measure in meter current in ampere time in second so we can write kilogram this meter, this meter, it becomes meter square. And this ampere comes up, A power minus one. When the second comes up, so total becomes minus three. So you can write this in any other. For example, I can change the other second power minus three, meter square, ampere power minus three. Both are correct. You can write them in any other, but the power must remain same. You can write even kilogram at the end ampere at the first it's up to you now this is the base unit of voltage now the next is resistance it is measured in ohm which is si unit but according to ohm's law v is equal to i r so r is equal to v over i look v base unit already derived so it's kilogram meter power minus three then a second uh, sorry second power minus three meter power two meter power two ampere power minus one and divided by current ampere so finally it is kilogram second power minus three meter square ampere power this minus one when this comes up it becomes minus two so this is the base unit of resistance so we have done with force work energy pressure power voltage and resistance and there are many more so these are the few examples now important thing is in our a level syllabus speed velocity acceleration density all are derived but they have no separate si and base unit no separate these four their base units will be considered their SI. So meter per second is base as well as SI. Sorry, meter per second. Minus one. And velocity, meter per second, both SI and base, meter per second square. And the density, kilogram, meter power minus three. So these four in our syllabus have no separate SI unit and base, but they are derived. Their base unit, their SI units are same. 